New details are emerging about disturbing allegations involving former House Speaker Dennis Hastert. These new specifics are from federal prosecutors. Less than three weeks before Hastert is to be sentenced for breaking federal laws. We get more from NBC's justice correspondent Pete Williams. For the first time, federal prosecutors say Dennis Hastert was paying hush money to a man who was 14 years old when Hastert sexually abused him in a motel room decades ago. The government says Hastert abused two other high school wrestlers and the team manager while he was the coach. Some of the incidents, the government says, were in the locker room at Yorkville High School. One victim said Hastert would sit in a reclining chair with a view of the stalls where the boys showered. In a pre-sentence memo, prosecutors say while Hastert enjoyed the benefits of a successful political career, his victims struggled and are still struggling with what he did to them, and all of them carry the scars of what happened. The wrestling team manager was identified previously as Steven Reinbold, who died in 1995. His sister says it happened all through high school, though Hastert has denied it. Today, she says the disclosures prove her brother was right. It's very validating to me that Steve's story is finally being believed and acknowledged. On the same light, it makes me extremely sad for the other boys that have gone through this. Hastert pleaded guilty in October to violating bank laws, trying to conceal a plan to pay $3.5 million to one of the victims who confronted him six years ago. The statute of limitations expired long ago on the sexual abuse allegations. The government recommends a prison sentence of up to six months on the financial charge, which is what federal guidelines call for. This is why the federal judge or any judge is in an unenviable position, because you have to balance these evil offense versus what is truly good deeds for Decades. Hastert's lawyers say the appropriate punishment is probation. He's humiliated and isolated, they say. His portrait gone from its place of honor in the U.S. Capitol. His name removed from the center he helped build at Wheaton College, his alma mater. And they say a blood infection and stroke have left him at age 74 in a wheelchair needing help for almost everything. That was Pete Williams reporting. Hastert's sentencing is April 27th. His lawyers say he is profoundly sorry and apologizes to former students and others affected by his actions.